Right, good morning, fish people. I'm Alan Norris from Fish on TV. Yes, it is a new van. Well, not a brand new one, but a newer van. Little Toyota Proace. It's a belter, but it's knowing how to get my cameras put up in here. It's, it's not the same as my other one. It's a bit more awkward. But we're here. It is Tuesday, the 27th of uh, February. And I'm here for the last round of the uh, Shimano, Speedy Shimano Bomb and Feeder League at Lindome Lakes. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I had a bad start due to the fact that I couldn't make the first one. Unknown circumstances, big weights there. Made the second round, drew absolutely awful. Couldn't get a bite anywhere at £8. Even Speedy said to me, he said, that's a terrible draw, Alan. And then I had to miss the next round. Again, unforeseen circumstance. So I missed probably the best. Not a good round on the second one, but I've missed three guns, really. Uh, two, two guns early on where there was a chance of getting some decent weights. But then I've held my own. I mean, just below middle. I've been creeping up since I've started fishing. Um, and I haven't done too bad. I've had a couple of days where... I wouldn't say I let myself down. One was a, one that it was just difficult. Another one, it was just snaggy and um, it just didn't perform like the peg that it could do. It was on, what peg was I on? It was on beaches. Peg six looked lovely, but for some reason, I don't know whether we'd had really windy days and the areas I wanted to fish was just full of branches and I couldn't get where I wanted to fish. So, struggled that day. Um, sounds like I'm making excuses, but I'm just sort of, Trying to draw, put, paint the picture that I think I've drawn well enough to do a little bit better than what I've, what I've done, but I, I really did miss the big weights in the early in the early rounds where they've been catching like 140 pounds. So I think I've got just over 300 pounds, 308 pounds, something like that, and I'm just below middle. So. I don't think, unless I have a 250 pound day, which ain't gonna to happen today, because we've had some terrible frost. It's been really cold. My cow iced over this morning, but just trying to get as high as I can, keep it respectable. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I love this league. Only thing I don't like is trenching through the, <laughs> the mud on certain pegs. It's like the battle of the Somme. That's just, this land around here holds the water. Hence why they've got so many lakes that they just dig out and just fill it up with water. It's brilliant. So, today, not sure, I'm not bothered where I get drawn. Just want a decent day. It's nice fishing. It's feed, it's bomber feeder only. You can use a catapult, you can feed by hand. And I just think it's a great concept of winter match fishing. I think, it, I think it's brilliant. Um, and it's something if you've got your own clubs, you could probably implement into your clubs for the winter. So like bomb and feed, you can use a cat in, you can use, and you can feed by hand. I think it's great. So the draw is in about 20 minutes. I'm all paid on. I'll go and see the lads. I'm going to see our George and Johnny Vegas. <laughs> Johnny Vegas. Uh, Frodo or Dave Grogan as his real name is. He's got more names than Soft Mick. I have no idea who Soft Mick is. So we'll get in there, have a chat with lads, see where we get drawn and, have, and, and see, see how we get on today. I've not videoed every one. I think I've done maybe one or two. But I thought I'd do the last round and then we can see who's done what and who's won what and all that sort of business. So there we go. My, best I can do, I'm just trying to get at least halfway or above. I think that's a realistic chance unless I drop on an absolute shed load of fish and empty oil but that ain't gonna happen trust me it's gonna be tough today <laughs> see you guys at the draw
wants to come back tonight, obviously to congratulate the Braves and the sponsors as well, you know, Shimano put some prizes up. We are going to pay, uh, we're going to give some of the prizes out to the Framers, but we're also going to draw out some of the prizes to make it fair on everyone that's committed to the league through the winter. They might not be brave, and it gives everyone a chance to come out. Hello. Hello. Here we are. We've got a few. We've had a few experiences, me and you, in the past. Yeah, don't talk about that duck in. Well John mate. You had to put that back in bag. He was gonna put it back in bag, wasn't he? That's where I was opposite your left hand. Well, we're opposite. Right, as you've seen, I have just drawn Bonsai 57. That was one of the pegs that wasn't great. It's not great. Nick said well drawn, Alan. Chicken's just tutted. It's not a great draw. But I have an idea where the fish are if I'm going to catch one or two and I've got Matt Pillet in the right in the next peg so I can't believe he's that close to me actually I thought it'd have been one further down but I've got Matt Pillet at side of me I'm listening to him all day, ah caster um, and if there's nobody on this end peg I can chuck to the other island as well um, so you just never know, what I will say is with peg 57 there can be some decent carp in the area at times whether they're going to be there today or not i don't know so it's one of those pegs i'd rather not have it but if it's one of those days where the carp just happen to be there it can also be very good but i'm sort of saying 80 percent not great 20 percent okay so you never know we're fishing, but I do think it's going to be difficult today. It's been very cold. What temperature have we got? No, I think it's about five degrees at the minute. I know it is because I've just been out there without my jacket on. It's like, oh, that's a bit nippy. So let's get to us, Peg. We should be catching one or two fish. I had quite a lot of F1s last time. A lot of small ones, the odd decent one. Um, so I'm pretty sure we shall catch. The tactics are going to be method and bomb. Obviously, that's all you're allowed to use, but I'm, I'd like to combine the micros with a bit of ground bait. That worked well on here last time. I would love to think I could cast a bomb out with a 6mm or an 8mm pellet on and it go around for big 6 to 8 pound cow. That would be the perfect day. Will it happen? Who knows? See you on the back. Right, let's have a look what time it is. How long we've got? Oh, one minute. Right, so I'll make it quick. This isn't the peg I thought I was on. Uh, I was on before. I was where Matt Pilly is, just there. And we've got Speedy, Bugalugs himself, behind us here, Mr. Mischievous. Right, me to bloody death. Told me to stop talking to myself. I like talking to myself. <laughs> it's good for you. Right, so 57. Uh, Nick says it can be, he says it can be all right now, so I have no idea. Apparently it's a little bit deeper near the island, which is perfect for today because of the uh, cold we've had, so um, tactics are, here we go. I've got that point of the island, I can work along there, I can be as close or as far away as I want from it, I'll probably start away from it to start with and see how we go from there, and then there's some reeds there which I'm planning on uh, chucking a method round there and uh, we'll see, uh, see how we get on. I've also got some reeds over here which I can I can find some bait down there and have a look down there. Bait whites, pellets, corn, a few maggots, some ground bait, some ground bait and micros and some micros there. Different wafters, different right. hook changes. About an hour in, my two little stockies and this has gone round pretty much straight away. Do apologise for that brolly. The wind's blown it straight round. But it was raining and it's bloody freezing. <laughs> it's absolutely freezing. I said, oh, what's happened there? Let's go on. I'll just get that in. So another little stocky. So I'd two, about three quarters of a pound a pound, and one really tiny one. I 
and it is like it's Baltic that, that, uh, that wind it's absolutely freezing so I do apologise it's, uh, it's not a lot I can do if it warms up a little bit I'll take the brolly down but at the minute it's got to stay up because it is absolutely freezing so I'm just putting a little 3 mil yellow wafter on in a band on the extra small method feeder I've tried around the right hand side of the island with corn and pellets and not had a sign, I had a couple of liners but no signs whatsoever so I'm not putting a lot of bait in, just three or four pellets and I can have a look at that a little bit later on I'm feeding some margins to my left well it's a castaway I know you won't be able to see where this is going I'll we'll just go to the corner of the island And just as I was tightening up like this, it literally went round now. <laughs> so, so if I can get that brolly out of the way, but the wind's just changed direction now, so it's blowing the it's blowing it round. So I'm to the left hand side of the island at the minute. I'm about a foot or two away. And it is, it, I think it must drop straight off quite a bit there because it's sinking quite quickly as the uh, is the line. Isn't it? But the wind, is, instead of going left to right, it's coming at me, coming straight at me now, so it's blowing my brolly round. I'm going to have to pin it down, I think. But it's nice when it comes round, it keeps that wind off me. <laughs> so I do apologise, but it is freezing. Definitely need these today. The hum's dropping off. So we're just putting a few pellets out there, and I've got the option to go straight down the middle of the uh, island as well as you can see that's just blown out of the way so and now uh, i've got that wind in my face it's absolutely freezing <laughs> but i'm definitely gonna have to pin that brolly down i think there was hardly any wind earlier but it's just got up so we'll see you on the next one folks I'm hoping this might be a little bit bigger. I've had five little F1s at the minute. I'm hoping this might be a little bit better. It's certainly putting a better scrap up. It's darting all over. Yes, that's better. There, the ones we're after. Oh, is that still got it in its mouth? Yes, it's still got it in its mouth. Uh, sorry, it's uh, it's popped out right around my feeder. So there we go. Nice little F1, around about two and a half pound. I nearly doubled my weight. Get in. And they are a lot tighter to that island than I thought they'd be with it being so cold. But like I say, it is quite deep there. I've never fished this peg. But it does seem deeper than uh, elsewhere on the island that's fairly shallow. I'll just get another little yellow wafter on. And I've been putting a few pellets to the right. I don't know why, but I just prefer the, the method feeder here at Lindome. It's the little hybrid feeder. I do use the hybrid, don't get me wrong. I don't know why I'm bonsai, I just seem to like this little method. Ah, oh, you bloody thing. That's the first one that's done that today. Why has that done that then? I had that problem all day. The only thing I found with these tiny little methods sometimes doesn't quite come out as it should. Yeah, it's doing it now. Why is it suddenly doing that? Let me just wash it. 
That's the first time he's done it all day. Typical. Now right, camera's on. <laughs> But if it does start doing that, I have got a little bit of plastic that you can use and then you can just pull it out. So if it, if it persists in doing that, there we go. Don't know why that just did that. I'll get it back over there. not quite as close as I want it just the wind has been blowing it left to right so I just aimed slightly left there but it's died onto the wind a little bit and it's just been swinging it round but that stays straight so that's a little bit further off yeah that's better isn't it and if it warms up a little bit I'll take that brolly down and you can see everything then noticed if I'm off the island a little bit too much I don't get a bite quite as quick there we are all settled that brolly's wanting to blow around perfect right so I'm due to try over there I've been putting some pellets down to my left, left hand margin. It's nice. I'm quite a few metres off it to be honest because it is really shallow close in. But I'm aiming towards some reeds towards my left which I think I showed you earlier. Timer on. And then, like I said, I've not tried in the middle of the island yet. But I have started getting bites near the reeds on the corner there. No point coming off it because it took a while for them to sort of start feeding. Excuse me. Right, so we'll carry on. We'll see if we get a little liner there. And I've had a few little drop back bites which I've missed. I don't know why, but it's dropped back and I've missed them. But I've also hit one or two as well. And it just just drops back a little bit, not a lot, just think you've got to lift on them because it's a fish that's moved it, so there we go. Right, we'll carry on, we'll see if we can get one or two more. Again, this feels like a better fish. I hope it is. of the day I think if I didn't know any better that's what spawn is either just fat or spawn oh, be about three and a half pound biggest one of the day I've had a look to the right let's get this probably round here oh, it's not having it it's not having it it's not having it I know you're probably thinking I'm, I'm a bit of a wimp, but it is absolutely freezing, folks. Freezing. Even Matt Pilly had to put some extra clothes on. You'd think he'd got enough layers as it is, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, we'll give that another go. Oh, he's doing it again. I just clean that. Only ever do it when the camera's on that. <laughs> don't do it this time, don't do it this time. There we go. Lovely. In the same spot, I've had a look, like I say, I've had a look to the right hand side of the island and nothing. Absolutely lovely. I know you can't see it because brawl is in the way, but it went in nicely. Oh, 
fairly quiet just plopped in lovely it's a little 20 gram method feeder and I'm, I'm, sh I'm shivering I've got loads of clothes I'm still still shivering it's that cold just that bit of a breeze but it is warming up tomorrow No good. That wind's just a bit stronger than it was. I'm gonna make it closer. A little bit close but not too much, but I'm not too worried about that. I can always put my bomb and pellet over there. There we go, that's just settled nicely. That last fish for the size of it was hardly a bite. I only lifted it because it was time to bring it in anyway. I wasn't right sure there'd be anything on, but it was literally, that was it. <laughs> Normally they just track it straight round. So we're up to about 12 pounds or maybe a little bit more. Apparently Andy Sellers has got 50 pound on Loco. He's doing really well. Well done, Andy Sellers. Keep putting a little drop back. That just dropped back ever so slightly, that. Ever so slightly. <laughs> oh, gaster. <laughs> this is a a machine. Won't go that far. <laughs> this is definitely a smaller one. should I say. And these ducks, you can tell they're getting frisky because they're attacking each other all the time. <laughs> Non-stop, like a right racket. There you go, what will it be, a pound? <laughs> God, I can't tell you how cold it is today. Absolutely freezing. See if this ground bait behaves itself. Don't have this problem in the slightly bigger method. It's only these tiny ones that just seems to stick in the in the method feeder. You know, in the uh, mould. Pinchy. I've just took the bomb out with, with pellet, and Matt is trying to. Encourage it to come off the hook. <laughs> it is shocking. Yeah, I've got geese behind me and all sorts. Making a right racket, you can hear them. <laughs> Why don't you just shut up? <laughs> So I've gone out and bombed pellet over the pellets I've been feeding and it's gone round. And it's a carp. Ah, I thought it was an F1, but it's a carp. Get in. Ah, biggest fish of the day, folks. Biggest fish of the day. Six mil pellet. They're the ones that we're after. Slightly bigger fish. He's got to be four and a half, five pound, I'll give him, maybe. Yeah. Nice one. What I will say is with a light bomb on it's tricky getting it accurate. 
because the wind tends to blow it wherever it wants. So I've, oh, I've just fired some pellets out, so I'll just go back out there and see if I can get another one. That was all right, wasn't it? That's a little bit shorter. I've not got it clipped up because I like to leave it off the clip when I'm fishing the bomb, but there's a lot of pellets landed where that's just landed. The last cast was slightly closer to the island, but there's enough pellets where that's landed. I'll give it five minutes. That went round after two and a half minutes. So we'll see how we get on. And I've not got like heavy gear when I'm bomb fishing on bonsai like this. It's 013, it's four pound line. You can land fish like that, no problem. Land them bigger as well. But you certainly can't bully it like when you've got eight and nine pound line on as a hook length. O twenties and no twenty twos. Just got to be a little bit careful, so I did put the back wind on. <laughs> it's any help, it's double figures. <laughs> so, I think I've got about £20 now. It's not being brilliant, but we're sneaking up there, and I think we've got, yeah, an hour and 50 minutes left, so... I'm hoping I'll get a few down there. A few nicer fish. Um, be nice to see a couple more of those turn up. It's a while since I've had a, a carp out of, uh, out of bonsai. It's generally been all those little F1s. And again, I know this is in the way and we could do with it being there, but it's just blowing into me. It's absolutely freezing. I can feel it now. That I'd rather sit with it like that. It just takes that edge off. <laughs> So I do a pop chance. I might have to take it down because I'm just looking at the camera. It's not looking great, is it? But oh, it's so much warmer when that's, uh, <laughs> that's there. <laughs> right. We're just steady away. We're not breaking any pots. Nick's told me it's one of his favourite pegs, this. Um, what I will say, it's nice and clear around the island. So you can get quite close to it without getting snagged up, that's a bonus. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy enough at the minute. Let's just hope we get a few, could do with a few more of those bigger fish like that, just to get the weight up there. So uh, apparently, I think I mentioned it earlier, I'm not sure, I can't remember, that's what happens when you get old. How many sellers are on 50 pound on loco? We're probably up tomorrow, so he's having a good day. And the steady away on Benny's apparently, don't know how steady that is, but they're steady away, so I've been telling Matty went for a walk. <laughs> Somebody's casting in his peg, so he got monk on. <laughs> right. See you on the next fish. Right, it's going round again, and Matty's had one at all. <laughs> Noisy, aren't they, them geese? All right, racket. I just don't think they're happy with Matty being sat there. <laughs> Oh, this one's right in. Well, another carp, I can't believe it. Well, they've definitely uh, come to those pellets. I can't even see hook. I can't see that. Gotcha. So he'll be, he's not the biggest, it might be four pound, three and a half, four pounds, so up to like 23 or four pounds, something like that. And I've literally, that's not been, that one's in a minute. So I just cast some pellets out there, catapulted, cast. I like casting some pellets out there, aren't I? Oh, I'm having a nice little run on the bomb at the minute to that right hand island. I think I'm up to about 26 or 7 pounds I think. There's an hour and a half left. And 
notice the guy opposite's catching quite well on bomb as well. And uh, it's amazing, nothing to start with on bomb. And now I'm getting a bite on every, virtually every cast at the minute, albeit they're not the biggest, apart from the odd one. So we we just steady away. One thing I will say, at least you get plenty of bites here at Lindo. Might not be the biggest at this time of year, but it's okay. It's okay. We're not uh, we're happy catching. I'll do. Just feather it down. And we're all set again. And that bike came after two and a half minutes. So that when I do get a bite, it's always less than five minutes. So there's not really much point leaving it in <coughs> much longer than five minutes. You might as well fire a few pellets out and, uh, and go over the top. I've not fired any that time because uh, I'd just cast a few out when I had that bite. So it's probably three minutes since I put some pellets out there. And we're at that time of year where you just can't keep firing loads of pellets. If I don't have a bite after a couple of minutes, I might put another half dozen out there. A little bit of noise and hopefully it goes round again. And I'm dying to try down there. But there's no point coming off this at the minute while I'm catching fish, so I'll probably have to take the brolly down for casting down there because it is in the way. In fact, I'll probably take it down after this cast. It'll be a little bit better viewing for me because it is a pain. And as you can see, the wind's coming towards me now, so yeah, I think it's probably just as well that I take this brolly down now and put up with it for a, an hour and a half. I'm sure I can cope with that. Well, I'm struggling to get some bites. Half an hour left. Gone on the method to the right. Nothing in the margins, nothing short. And it's gone round eventually. On the right hand man, on the right hand side of the island. Again, only small ones. No decent ones. Where's the decent ones? We need some bigger ones, folks. We need some bigger ones. Tiny little things. <laughs> what can he do? Well, just keep getting them in. Bring some earplugs next time, I think. <laughs> Racket them geese are making. <laughs> God, burn it. I even heard Nick Speed swearing at him. <laughs> they were right behind him making the right racket. It's comical. Right, let's get back out there. Set. We've got swans behind us and all sorts, swans in front. They're after youngsters. Make your own way in life, that's what they're saying. It wasn't long ago they were looking after them. <laughs> oh, a little indication there. gonna go then. I reckon they've probably 
snaffled all the bait there. I'm going to give it a minute. And if that hasn't gone, I'll recast that. Because if ever I get a little jab like that, I don't seem to get a bite after. And it's just done it again. Oh. I know we normally wait for it to go right round, but there's definitely something nibbling at it there. They normally clear your feeder out when they do that. They'll be the tiny ones. <laughs> God, what a racket. Fish written all over it. Come on, come on, the fishies. Yes, I think that's going to be a fish. Me thinks. <laughs> it's a we crackers these birds. Absolutely crackers. You're not staying on this pond. Go find your own house. <laughs> I think there's only us that look after kids till they're about 45. <laughs> It's been like that all day. There's me trying to put a feeder in as quiet as anything and they're just smashing water to smithereens. <laughs> God. Oh dear. Right. I thought it might, I thought it might have gone round but it hasn't. See you on the next. A death here but I'm only talking to one on bomb. Believe it or not, it started raining. Brilliant. <laughs> Just to end. Oh yeah, the other thing. Yeah, it's not been a great last hour this to be honest. Nothing down the sides. Down there. Poor last hour. So what we'll do, we'll get this chucked back in. There's only a few minutes left. And we'll see you folks at the weigh-in. I'm probably going to get Brolly back up so I don't get drenched. off. Oh, it's cold now. It's cold again. Uh, in second place, 
Winning 500 quid, weighing 546 pound three, Steve Toplin. Well done. <laughs> And the winner, um, he's been fishing this for as long as it's been running. He's not won it yet, it's his first year he's won it. He deserves to win it. Uh, picking up 550 quid, weighing 555 pounds, six ounces, Mr. Doherty. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. So, uh, prizes. We've got uh, a Right, we're all wading. Ah. Right, plenty of fish, just not quite the right size. I think I've said that a few times on Bonsai. You need a few bigger ones, I think, as well, or just millions of those F1s. Um, you saw what my plan was. I got the island. It is quite a drop off at the island. It's. I'm not saying it's like mega deep, but it's. It's all right that it allows you to fish quite tight up and I noticed that fishing quite tight up seemed to have better results than fishing away from it. Don't get me wrong, I've had one or two fish away from the island. Um, bomb and corn, bomb and pellet. Bomb and pellet seem to produce more fish eventually. I've cast right the way down um, towards some reeds to my left which I showed you at the beginning. I kept found a couple of pouches of pellets over there then fished over the top with corn pellet and the method and never had a line it never had a sign no nothing so i don't know has that cold weather just stopped them from coming in i don't know i don't know anybody else if anybody else was caught in margins but i never had a bite down there um i keep looking at it i don't know why method i had a few to the left hand side i've tried in the middle of the island i never had a bite in the middle it's a lovely bare bank i'm sure in the summer you get tight up to that um that's gonna produce a few fish but they seem to be seem to want to be at the ends of the islands just seems to shelter it from the wind a little bit i'm sh sure that might be the reason i don't know don't know what the bottom's like there but um that's where i seem to have caught most of my fish the last hour i was hoping i think i had about 30 pound or so I was hoping for a good finish. I thought if I could put another £20 or so in the net, that would be a decent result. £50, £60 would be a good result for that lake. I know Speedy thinks he's had about 60 Which probably puts me on... I've had £35 in the end. Um, plenty of fish, but a lot of small stuff like this, and even smaller. So plenty of bites. Kept you entertained. It was mightily bitter cold it were ridiculous god so i do apologize for that probably being up but i had to put it up because it was absolutely freezing my hands were just dropping off even with the hand warmers because you're catching fish it was just freezing absolutely freezing all f1s bar two um i had a four and a half five pounder and one about three and a half maybe four pound calf one, one were a common one was a mirror i do know that the mirrors can hang about there you end up with half a dozen or so then it bumps your weight up quite a lot so thoroughly enjoyed the league it's a shame i wasn't there for the early the early matches just to try and catch well we all hope we're going to get a few good weights to give us a good start but uh, the first three matches i'd not well i'd miss one eight pound miss one so it wasn't a great start it wasn't ideal really i've been fishing in the depths of winter I think sort of 50, 60 pound if you're catching around there, it's not, not too bad at all. Um, apparently where I was today, th this, this island can be very, very good. Um, the peg I thought I'd drawn was a little bit further down. Um, but I, I've enjoyed it. I, I think if I were to fish that again, I would probably have another method set up, clipped up for the middle of the island, and then another method clipped up for the ends of the island, so you're not messing about switching and setting resetting another clip and a bomb rod i think that's what i'd probably do next time so i can search smack in front of me with one rod and then the other rod at the ends of the islands and then a bomb rod to search round your peg i think that's how i'll approach it next time i tend to do quite well with 
ground bait and micros on here with either dead reds on or a little wafter and bomb and pellet bomb and corn can be very good and when the water's really clear bomb and bread can be excellent as well so just something for you guys if you're visiting this place in the winter they're the tactics that, tactics that most of the guys use don't know the results yet so i'm going to video that after this i just want to tell you about i my hope match. you've enjoyed the one or two matches that i recorded for the shimano bomb and feeder league here at lindome lakes i will definitely be joining it again next year try not to miss any matches and let's see if we can have a much better result whether i've managed to get above halfway i doubt it i might have probably stayed round about the same but we'll find out anyway so there you go folks that's the end of the bomb and feeder league i've got a couple more carpers to do i've already qualified for that final and then we've got loads coming up we've got i've got a couple more golden rods and then we've got loads coming up we've got uh, the uk champs we've got the feeder masters Adlington uh, feeder champs, golden reels, golden rods, uh, fishing manias. There's, there's all sorts of stuff going off. So I don't know. I'm going to fit it all in. <laughs> I just love it. It's great, isn't it? So there you go, folks. That is the end of it for me. I hope you enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed it all. The results at the end for you. Where am I next? I'm. Um, I think I'm going to try and get a ticket for the Golden Rod at Marston. Is it, Mar is it Marston? Yes, I think it is. On Saturday. Um, so I'll, I'll be taking the cameras there. We'll see how we get on there. And then I've got another Golden Rod here at Lindome Lakes. And we'll see how we get on there. Then my last two chances. So, thanks for watching, folks. Results presentation at the end of this video. So just if, you, if you're interested in that, just hang on two minutes. You'll be able to see all those. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed the videos and I shall see you on the banks at, if I can get the ticket, I haven't bought one yet, I'm sure there were five or six left. What is it Marston? Let me just double check, let me just double check, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Let's have a look. Um, Marston Fields, yeah, Marston Fields, so that's where I'll be on Saturday, so thanks for watching. See you pretty soon, don't forget folks, it's absolutely free to subscribe to this channel. If you click that notification bell, you get all our videos as we upload them. And a thumbs up would be very, very nice. So until the next one, take care, folks. And don't forget to fish on.